Hey guys, this is Geek Claw here, um, and I am bringing out some more um, theory videos on Deadpool and Wolverine. And this time I wanted to touch upon the divisions we saw in the TVA. During Loki Season 2, we basically saw a split between, between the TVA. Um, there was basically a faction of TVA agents who believed in pruning the multiverse. And that um, pruning the multiverse was actually really, really important to the stability and integrity of, of the multiverse's survival. And that if these branch timelines were allowed to happen, it would basically lead to the to the destruction of the multiverse. Also, then had a faction of the TVA agents who believed that no, we can't be the ones that destroy millions and millions and millions of lives. Um, that we should basically oversee the multiverse and ensure its stability. Now, at the end of Loki Season 2, we basically saw Loki basically piece back, piece together the multiverse and form it into Yggdrasil, the multiverse tree. Now, Deadpool and Wolverine basically establishes that those divisions still exist within, within the TVA who basically um, hired Deadpool to basically come into the TVA and try to stop his world from being destroyed. But he said that he was going to destroy the Fox universe, which leads to the events of the movie, and yeah. Mr. Paradox and his tribe, the reason why they believe in pruning the multiverse and why he might be right is because he inadvertently released Cassandra Nova onto the Fox universe. And Cassandra Nova, as I mentioned in the Why Kang Was Right video, um, Cassandra Nova nearly, nearly destroyed the Fox universe. And, you know, Mr. Paradox and his tribe are actually right in pruning these these universes, in my opinion. Um, and and not because I believe that thousands of lives should be snuffed out like that. It's because these universes are so unstable that should a villain like Cassandra Nova step into the multiverse and actually succeed in destroying a universe, m more and more universes would basically destroy itself. And this is something that I think is so significant that this film is setting up, is that it's setting up for beings that are so unbelievably powerful that they could, um, destroy the Marvel Universe and potentially destroy the Sacred Timeline, i.e. Earth-616. And it's the TVA's job at the end of the day to secure the multiverse. It is their job to secure and maintain the multiverse keep, and keep it, it surviving. Um, and they are sort of remiss in their jobs if they don't um, prune these these universes. That is going to be, to wind up leading to the events of Avengers Five and Avengers Secret Wars because of the fact that um, we are basically allowing these. Um, 
these universes not to be pruned, we could get either Doctor Doom stepping in to destroy the, um, the Kangs, the Council of Kangs, and then go on to basically destroy the multiverse and form Battle World. Or we could get like a character like the Beyonder who basically snuffs out the multiverse like that and um and basically destroy the multiverse anyway. Um it's also really interesting that this film is very clearly establishes that the TVA destroyed Blade's universe. Electro and Daredevil's universe, the Fantastic Four universe, and also put X-23 into the void. That's really interesting to me, and I really want to know why the TVA did that. Because it... If the TVA are basically, if Mr. Paradox is, and his tribe are behind that, then why are they going so off book that they are destroying these multiverses? If it's the other side, then we could be expecting a lot more from these characters going into Secret Wars, and that, and that is really, really exciting in and of itself. So, that is this video done. Um, do stay tuned for more, um, for more Deadpool and Wolverine coverage. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and let me know about what you think in the comments section down below. Bye guys.